Carbon is his name. He's one of my uh, one of the sons of my my lead dog Silver. But yeah, but this guy's a specimen. I'm I'm extremely excited. Like I said, I mean, at three years old, he's already run the quest twice and the Iditarod and finish them all. He's like my little my little buddy, you know, we, we have, I, I have awesome relationships with all my dogs. I spend a lot of time with them. I spend all my time with them. You know, they come in the house a lot and um, it's, uh, we're tight. We're all very, very tight. His his mom is a, it comes out of, out of uh, a Mackie, a small Mackie dog that, that Lance sold me because uh, she was too small for him and he even said, you know, breed this one with the silver and I have, there's three of his brothers that were in the team uh, this year, and uh, they're all named after elements, and I I have uh, a whole nother litter that are six months old, and I have a whole nother litter of the same breeding getting bred right now, so. What are the other dogs in that litter? Uh, carbon, this is carbon, there's cobalt, merc, copper, those are all here today, and then uh, there's radon, and boron, and argon, they're all named after elements on the table that from this breeding, so. They're like, a few people commented when we came when we came in that I have old school dogs, dogs that the people used to run the Iditarod with and people that run the Yukon Quest because they have fur and they're bigger and, and they just look more sled dog, like when people imagine sled dogs, you know, this is what this is what they imagine out of a book instead of the smaller type dog that people are running now. And yet Muster's bred away from that. So does that mean it's a disadvantage to have a big, uh, big old dog I like mean, this? I mean, people, people, some people would say that. Um, I'm, um, I'm going to prove here in the next couple of years that it's not a disadvantage because these are awesome dogs. And, and in the end, they're a lot, I mean, look at this dog. He's not skinny because he's got an amazing coat. He's tougher than nails. His attitude is amazing. He eats like a horse. I mean, he's, if I had 16 of these, I'd win the race. I'm pretty confident that this dog, and I'm on my way to, to making that happen.